Well, hello. Recording in process. You will not be recorded, only me, and it's only for YouTube. Um, thank you uh, for being here this evening. It is 94 degrees in Los Angeles at 7 p.m. I am totally okay with that. My air conditioning is not on, but yours can be. Uh, if you are uh, overly warm in, in class or uh, you know during the day or anything, I want to show you a yoga trick. Uh, it's a breathing trick uh, to uh, cool the body. So normally when we're breathing, we're breathing in and out through the nose with a restriction of the throat. That's ujjayi breath, which is connected to astanga yoga and is meant to generate uh, internal heat, not to mention the oxygen and the whole, all the other benefits of breathing, pranayama. It's under the yoga title. So breathing is actually yoga, uh, pranayama. But anyways, uh, if you're getting overheated, there are two breathing exercises you can do to cool yourself down. Uh, the first one, not everyone uh, can do. It has, I don't know what it has to do with. Uh, that'd be interesting if someone found this out someday. Some people can't do this one, but if you're getting overheated, you breathe through taco tongue. Like so, as you're breathing through, it's kind of like a swamp cooler because you're breathing in and there's moisture on the tongue, which is then cooling the air, which is then going into your body. So, if you cannot taco tongue, no problem. They have an extra one for those of us that could not taco tongue, which is breathing through the teeth. Also, so the breath is going in through the mouth and across the uh, saliva, just cooling it down into the body. And you can feel it kind of right away. Um, at least I can. Anyways. Those are my tips for cooling the body down using uh, the experiences of the yogis. And we're going to start seeing, and we're going to do, firstly, I'm going to scoot back far enough to do, uh, which I haven't done for a while, yoga for your feet. So let me get back far enough so you can see my feet. So there they are. I am way far away. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is kind of flex the feet. So we're going to bring the all of the toes like we're trying to bring them to the shins. So opening up the feet as much as we can. And then we're going to help them by bringing the hands onto the toes and pulling them back even further, which you kind of feel uh, in the arch there. So we're going to take a couple of breaths here. Try to keep your back straight. I did get a bit hunched over to get my feet, but you can bring them in tighter so we can keep our posture nice either way. So we're going to take a couple of breaths here. So then the next part is the opposite in my hands of demoing as my feet. We're going to close them in like we're trying to make a fist. Uh, so once you do that, then you can close them a little bit more. Be careful when you close them a little more. Sometimes that puts into cramping. If it puts into cramping, go back to pulling the toes of the shins. But otherwise, we're going to close them down a little bit and take a couple of breaths here. Right. We're going to do this one at a time because well, it's possible to do it at the same time, but one at a time will be simpler. So we're gonna lift the left foot up, you can put it in the left arm crook, and then we're gonna take the uh, right hand and put the fingers, and you can use the other hand to help between all the toes and get a really good grip there and kind of squeeze like you're giving one of those, you know when you're a kid and you were like applying for a job and the manager shook your hand a little too hard? A little bit of that right here, we're gonna breathe. All right, and then uh, we're gonna do the other one. So we're gonna get that right leg up uh, close and then we'll get those fingers in between. We can use the other hand to kind of set that up. This is why it's a little hard to do them both at the same time, but it's possible. And then a little bit of a squeeze there, squeezing the, uh, the palm of the hand into the, uh, the ball of the foot, squeezing it on top of the foot to the toes. Anyways, you got it. Let's breathe here.
Very nice. If you can stand without using your hands, go ahead and do that. I'm going to move back with the feet about the distance of my hips. We're going to swing the arms forward. Core is engaged. We're breathing in and out through the nose, unless we're overheated. Then we can do one of the uh, couple of breaths from the uh, opening, which is either taco tama through the teeth. And then let's go the opposite direction, please. And across the front, switching now, which hand goes on top. <clears throat> and hands on the hips, we swing the hips around a little bit. And the opposite direction, please. Good. Before we start getting anywhere near to putting the hands on the mat, we're going to bring the hands together like so. And we're going to circle in the wrists. And I came up to the camera. You could stay wherever you are. And then opposite uh, direction. Same. Always do both sides of everything. <clears throat> The do divides. Great. Uh, feet together, big toes touching, ankles a little bit apart, thumbs out. I'll be headless for part of this. We're going to breathe in, reach up, and look up. We're going to breathe out and forward fold, bringing the fingers uh, low, maybe on the ground, maybe on the shins. We look up, flatten the back. Forward fold on the out breath, and then let's come all the way back up to the ceiling, reaching out and up. Hands in prayer are coming uh, down through the heart center. We're going to push into the earth and circle all the way back up on the in breath. Breathing out, uh, forward folding, fingers low again. And then look up, flatten the back. The forward fold on the out breath. All the way back up, reaching out and up. Hands again coming down through the heart center, pushing into the earth. We circle back up, breathing in through the nose. Breathing out, forward folding again, fingers low. We look up, flatten the back. Forward fold on the out breath. All the way back up, reaching out and up. Down again through the heart center. And back up on the in breath. Here we go. Breathing out, forward folding, fingers low. We look up, flat the back. And from here, we're going to step uh, top of first push up. We'll take our time with this first one. You could put the knees down. We'll take a couple of breaths here, tight core, tight legs. And when you're ready, we're going to lower down and then roll forward, up dog, and down dog, pulling up and back. Keep two fists apart. And bend one leg, push the opposite heel towards down. Stepping a little bit back and forth in place. Good. And we're going to walk our way back up to the top of the mat. Feet together, fingers low. Look up, flatten the back. Forward fold. All the way up to the sky again, reaching out and up. We're coming back down through the heart center, pushing into the earth, circling all the way back up on the in breath. Breathing out, forward folding, fingers low again. We look up, flatten the back. We step in, top of push up, we lower drop, up dog, and down dog. You could stay still or up on the toes on the in breath, down with the heels on the out breath. We're looking at the knees of the navel. Feet are uh, two fists apart, approximately. Okay, walk or jump, top of the mat, toes together. Look up, forward fold, 
Let's come all the way up to the ceiling again. And then we're going to bring the arms right down at the sides because we'll be vinyasa and through most of the practice. We're not going to do a bunch at the beginning. Big toes touching, let the knees fall together. We sit in chair. Excellent. Up over, forward folding, fingers low again. We look up and let's step back again. Top push up, we lower drop. Up dog. Down dog, warrior one on the right, right foot steps, left foot turns out, arms up initially. We're gonna push it to the left foot and reach the left shoulder forward. We're gonna take a couple of breaths here. Great, touch the ceiling again and Hands back down, step back, lower drop. Up dog, down dog. Left foot step in, right foot turns out. And we're gonna reach that right arm forward, knees over the ankle in the front, pushing into the back foot, breathing. Great, touch the sky again, and the uh, hands back down, stepping back, top push up, the lower end drop, up dog, and down dog. We're going to stay here breathing and down dog. And step, jump, top of the mat, toes together. <clears throat> we look up, forward fold, feet and knees together, sitting in chair, standing, shoulders back, uh, tight core. Excellent. Let's do at least one more. We sit in chair again. Great. Up over, forward folding, fingers low. Look up, flatten the back. Step in again, top push up. <clears throat> we lower drop. Up dog. And down dog. Let's do warrior two on the right, right away. Right foot stepping right into warrior two. Excellent. We're gonna take a couple breaths here. Let's do that uh, self adjustment on this one. Uh, right hand holds the knee in place, which is over the ankle. Left hand pulls the left hip back. Try to maintain that opening. It may not have moved much. And then arms back up. We'll take a couple of breaths here. Turn the right hand so the palm faces the ceiling. We're gonna arch back, left hand barely touches the back leg. Look up along the elbow, the core is engaged, we're breathing. Great, hands are down again, stepping back. We lower drop, up dog, and down dog. Left side, uh, warrior two, please. Take a moment here. We'll do the self adjustment. Left hand keeps that knee there. We're going to pull that right hip back, see if it moves. It might not. Back up with the arms for a couple of breaths. Turn the left hand so the palm faces the ceiling. We are arching back. Great, and hands are back down, step back, lower drop, up dog, and down dog. And we're gonna stay right here breathing. All right, step your way on up to the top of the mat, feet together, fingers low. Look up, fold, fold. Let's sit in a chair with the cactus arms. And we're gonna twist by taking the right elbow outside of the left leg. Keep those knees lined up like the front of the mat and the toes. Hands in prayer pull in, we'll turn the fingers to the face. We're gonna take several breaths right here.
Go forward, fold and rest a little bit. Let your head drop. And we sit in chair again. The old cactus arms. And let's do the other side. Uh, left elbow, hands in prayer. We line the knees up. We're going to break here. Good, forward fold, uh, feet apart. Hold the elbows or prayer, elbows or prayer, and we'll let everything drop down. You're welcome to bounce if you prefer. Let's come all the way up and touch the ceiling. And then all the way back down, we're going to uh, take the peace fingers under the big toes, thumbs touching on the inside, elbows away from the ears, top of the head down, breathing in the nose. And back up to the ceiling and back down, hands on the feet from the front, toes touching the crease in the wrist. You pull up on the feet if you like. Legs can be bent, mine certainly are bent. Very nice. Uh, let's stand. And we're going to bring the feet back together. We're just going to take a moment here. Thumbs out, pour in. All right, let's sit in chair. Great. Up over, forward, folding, fingers low. We look up. We're stepping again, top push up. We lower, drop. Up dog, down dog, uh, right foot again, warrior two, back up. Take a couple of breaths here, looking at the right hand, dropping the shoulders. Breathing in the nose, unless you're trying to cool the body down. We're going to straight the leg in the front for triangle, we reach out a bit. Uh, right hand down, left arm up, down might just mean on the shin. If possible, we look to the reaching hand. Lengthen the spine a little bit, keep breathing. Let's place both hands on the shin. We shorten the stance. You could stay right here. If you want to twist, that right arm comes up. Legs straight, feet flat. The hand does not have to go on the ground. If it does, excellent. Great, hands top of the mat again, stepping back. We lower and drop. Up dog and down dog. We're doing the left side, warrior two, right foot turns out, back up with the arms. We straight the leg in the front, we reach out a bit, left hand down, triangle, right arm up. Both hands on the shin, let's shorten the stance. 
And if you want to twist, go ahead. Keep breathing. Excellent. Now hand down again, stepping back. We lower drop. Up dog. And down dog. Very nice. We're going to breathe here. And step or jump, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, roll the foam. Feet and knees uh, sitting in chair. Standing, shoulders back, tight core. Excellent, we shall continue. We sit in chair again. Right, up, over, forward, following fingers low. We look up, flatten the back. We step in again, top push up. The lower drop. Up dog, down dog, a warrior two on the right, please. Right foot steps back up. We'll give it a moment. Center of the right forearm uh, for extended side angle will go on your leg, left arm up and over. How else, else you want to do that? If you want to put the right hand down, that's fine. But keep breathing here. Back to warrior two for a moment. We could keep the back foot flat. We're gonna twist. I'm gonna to come to the ball of the foot. You're welcome to do that too. We we'll swing that left arm through. Hands in prayer. You could also put the knee down uh, if you prefer. We're gonna breathe here. Right, the hands are down again, stepping back. We lower and drop. Up dog, down dog. Left side, please. Right foot turns out. Back up with the arms again. And when you're ready, forearm on the leg, right arm up and over. Now, however you did it on the other side, Back to warrior two, we're twisting, swinging that right arm through, hands in prayer pulling in. And again, however you did it on the other side. Very nice, uh, hands down again, stepping back. We lower drop, up dog, and down dog. We're coming into horse and the sun goddess. So whatever foot you want to stop a step if you need to face the device. Ultimately, once we're up, we're going to be having uh, the heels about the distance of the elbows, toes splayed, opening up to the knees. And we're going to hold the ceiling here, breathing. a little more. All right, please straight the legs. Uh, we'll run the feet to run straight forward. So the outside uh, edges of your feet will be about the same as the outside edges of the mat. We're going to reach straight up and then just straight down so the hands are flat under the shoulders. Maybe palms down, head down, breathing here, elbows back to the legs.
and back up, reaching out to the uh, ends of the fingers. Behind the back, we're going to intertwine those fingers. Now you can push the palms together if you like for a release of tension in the upper back. Otherwise, the heart is fine. We're going to forward fold. Lifting the arms a bit off the back, a little a lot, much as your body will allow. And up again to the ceiling. And down again, hands can grab the shins, the ankles, or the big toes with the peace fingers. Legs straight, feet flat, elbows away from the ears, head reaching crown towards the earth. And let's stay down low, both hands over to the right for a moment, left shoulder under and through. We'll take a couple of breaths here today. And over to the other side. Good, let's stand. And we're going to stand at the top of the mat just for a moment. Or you could be anywhere you want on the mat. I'm going to take a couple of breaths here before we do a bunch of different balancing stuff. Our first balancing will be warrior three. We're going to stand on the right foot. I like hands to heart sometimes. A lot of variations, however you're comfortable. We're going to lift that right foot up, maybe just a little bit. Maybe a little more. Maybe a lot more. Until the body is parallel to the earth is where I would stop. If you get there, don't worry about it. You want to convert this to Ardha Chandrasana. Left hand down, right arm up. And switching the hands. All right, let's stand. We'll take a moment. And when you're ready, we're going to repeat all of that on the right foot. Right foot stays down. And we lift the left. We're free. And when you're ready, your right hand down, left arm up. You could stay in warrior three, of course. I hope you know that. Switching the hands is a little more difficult. Great, let's stand again. Step it out a little bit. This always feels so much like a, a little less to me. I like this pose. I like it because it's easy. That it doesn't speak well of me. Standing on the left foot, we're going to grab the right ankle for tree. And maybe lock it. You can hold it. You can put it out in the front, hand to the heart. And we are going to uh, breathe here. Core is in, standing tall. Right, let's do the other side. Right foot down, left foot up. There we go again. Four in, breathing, finding our visual lock.
All right, let that down. Back to the left. Right knee is coming up. Right hand grabs the knee, left hand on the hip. You can stay here. You could grab the big toe, extend the leg straight out. Keep standing tall if you grab that big toe. Really feel, get a vibe for your body. Where is it at? Shoulder over hip, over heel, on the left, straight line all the way up the side. <clears throat> Gonna open that leg out to the right as we look over the left shoulder. Um, back to center, show me the bottom of your foot. Great, let that down, you can move around a little bit if you like. And then other side, standing on the right, we lift the left. And uh, if you extend the leg, please, I do the same here. And we open out to the side as we look over the right shoulder. And back to center, show me the bottom of your foot. Right, let that down. All right, uh, let's uh, come uh, into squat. My toes are definitely splayed a bit. And some people who can't get the heels down, don't worry about it. You can be on the balls of the feet. Hands and prayer push together, pushing the elbows into the legs, and then lengthen up your back. We're gonna take a few breaths here. And hands in prayer straight forward. We're coming all the way up to the ceiling. And then all the way back down, hands in prayer straight forward. And then again, all the way up to the ceiling. And then uh, hands in prayer uh, straight forward. And then again, all the way up to the ceiling. And then back down. Let's come to hands and knees for the cat and the cow. <clears throat> Knees are two fists apart, hips over knees, shoulders over wrists. We drop the belly, looking up third eye. We're breathing out, arching the back. I'm gonna keep moving uh, with the breath. I'm closing my eyes on this one. You're welcome to do the same. Going back to center, we look over the right shoulder and see the tail. And then over uh, to the other side. Good to center, uh, right heel reaching back, left hand, uh, either handshake or palm down, reaching forward. And then breathe here. We're gonna stay up. Those of you that want can bend that leg and grab the foot with the fingers on the, the laces or you can just grab the ankle. Up, lifting, uh, arching, looking third eye. Keep the knee pointing straight back and then up. Very nice, put that down. And uh, left heel reaches back, right hand shape or palm down forward. We'll take a few breaths here. And you can bend that leg, arching up if you like. Continue breathing.
right back to hands and knees. We're going to turn the right hand in to face the left. And we're going to feed that left arm through, laying onto the shoulder and the side of the face. We're going to push the right hand against the ground. Let's come back up and we'll do the other side. Left hand uh, turns in, we're gonna feed the right arm through and we'll lay down on the other side. Great, back to hands and knees so we can step back to the top of push up. We're on our way to uh, pigeon. We lower down, up dog, down dog. We're gonna hold the uh, right foot up over the back wall. You can bend that leg opening up the hip if you like. And then let's throw that shin top of the mat. We we'll scoot the left leg a little back lifting the uh, heart. And hands down, forearms down, head down. And we're going to take many breaths right here, focusing on the breathing. All right, uh, hands down again, we step back. You can shake that right leg out if you like. Top of push up, we lower drop, up dog, down dog. Or we're gonna hold the left leg up. You bend that leg if you like, opening up the hip. And then throw that shin top of the mat, crawl the right leg back. You lift the heart for a moment, hands down, head down, breathing here. All right, one more time, hands top of the mat. We are stepping back again. Everything tight, we lower and drop. Up dog and down dog. Great, let's sit down. Left leg out in front, right leg bent with the sole against the leg. We're gonna do dynamic uh, forward folding on Janus Sirsasana. So left hand grabs the straight leg, either shin or toes, keep the leg straight. Up with the right hand on the in-breath. 
and then down, including the right shoulder on the out breath, and over and over, please. And next time you're up, we're going to stay up and we're going to look to the reaching hand. Good. And uh, let's switch. Right leg out, left sole in. And right on right, chin or toes or belt. All the way up, uh, breathing in. And then back down on the out breath. And over and over, please. And next time you're up, let's stay up. We'll look to the reaching here. Good, let's let that down. Uh, we're gonna get into this one real slow. <clears throat> we're gonna take the right heel under the left hip. <clears throat> the right knee is gonna point straight forward. The right foot, it's a little bit out. We're only sitting a little on the heel then that uh, left leg jumps over that knee. You can stay here sitting up tall. For some people, this is quite difficult and that's fine. Uh, you could take the right hand and grab the left shoelace and pull uh, back, trying to stack the knees with the feet maintaining uh, being on the ground. You can put the fingers down and lunge a little forward. You could reach the right arm up and down the back, grabbing the elbow, core in, head pushing against the uh, arm. We're going to breathe here. Good unwind all of that and let's do the other side so left heel under the right hip right foot jumps over maybe stay here maybe grab the laces with the left hand pulling it seeing if the knees will stack maybe lift and lunge up with the arm if you like you could stay right in the beginning i encourage it we're going to breathe here Great, let's unwrap all of that. And we're gonna put the legs out in front of us so we could shake them around a little bit. We're gonna do reverse plank. So the hands are back behind you under the shoulders with the fingers pointing towards the feet. And then we're gonna point the toes, lift the hips and look at the ceiling. And let's come back down. Our twist, we bend the right leg, we hug it in. Toes pointed to the sky, left arm grabs the leg, hand behind you, sit up tall, we bring the elbow outside. We're going to breathe here.
Uh, let's do the other side, right leg out. Left shoulder in. Right arm grabs that leg. We sit up tall. We bring the elbow outside the leg. We breathe here. Looking at the eyeball line or the wall. Um, back to center, both legs bent. We're going to bring the arms under the bent legs and roll back under the tail. You can stay here. You can let go, lock the shoulders back. We're going to breathe. You can straight the legs. A lot of options. We're going to stay breathing. We're going to cross the legs, grab the shin, sit up really tall. Shoulders are pulling back and down a little bit. The core is pulling in and up to the crown of the head. And number two, up again. Cross the legs, sit up tall. And up again, number three. Lost the legs, sit up really tall. Take a couple breaths on this one. All right, number four, here we go again. Cross the legs, sit up tall. Very nice, last one, back up. All right, hug the knees in. We're gonna lie back for a moment and just look at the ceiling. You can grab the shins and pull the uh, shins down. You could bring the nose up the knees, you don't get to look at the ceiling anymore when you do that, no? Good. Uh, we're going to do bridge, feet down flat, feet and knees two fists apart, longest finger almost touches the heel. We're going to lift the hips and then tuck the shoulders under, intertwine the fingers and push the arms down. We're going to stay here and breathe. Great, back down. You can hug the knees in again to the chest. For those of you that want to come along or going upside down, you could just lay against the wall with your feet up the wall, which is super awesome. Otherwise, we're going to do plow, kicking the feet up and over the head, legs in the direction of straight, hands could be on the back or intertwined fingers with the arms uh, down. We're taking a full five breath here today. If your hands are not on the back, you place them there now, and we lift the feet straight up to the sky. Heavy shoulders, heavy elbows. Try to maintain very little weight on the head. Of course, there's some there, but try to put more in the elbows and the shoulders.
and bend the legs, bring the knees to the ears. And we're gonna roll down into dead bug. Dead bug, we're holding the feet so the soles of the feet can see the ceiling, knees in the armpits, you can stay still or rock around. All right, knees into the chest. Let's roll around a little bit. Imagine you have knees, uh, pencils on the knees pointed up to the ceiling. Keep the knees and the shins kind of together. And then we draw a circle on the ceiling, rolling the back down one direction here at first. And then opposite direction, please. Go then back to center. We're gonna reach the arms all the way out like a T with the head down. On an out breath, we let the knees fall to the right. As we look to the left, right hand can hold the knees down. We're gonna breathe here. And back up, let's come all the way up and then all the way over to the other side. And we'll look to the right reaching here. And to center again, hug the knees into your chest, thank yourself for coming out. I'm gonna lead us in a five minute meditation, which I'll do sitting. You're welcome to stay laying down. Uh, if sitting, you may wish to sit on a rolled up mass just under the hips. Set that timer and cross the legs gently, however you like. And uh, intertwine fingers with thumbs touching or one hand on top of the other. Um, shoulders back, core in, chin slightly to the chest. Becoming aware of the body breathing itself. It's putting all of our attention on experiencing the body breathing. And we'll be here a little bit. We'll change the lighting.
All right, let's bring the hands to the heart center. We're gonna rub them together, making a bit of fire. And then all the way up like a big funnel. We're gonna take a breath in through the nose as much as we can get. We're gonna breathe in more through the mouth. And even more. Tighten the core, tighten the legs, lift the floor, hold the breath, stay a moment. And then let everything out. Ah. You're living your dream, don't miss it, namaste. Thank you so much for being here this evening. It's danieloverberger.com. You can find links to my Venmo and PayPal right there. And uh, let me, um, let's see.